In this video, I'll show you how to reduce the index of a radical. Let's start with question one. In question one, we have the sixth root of x to the power of three. The best way to approach these types of problems is to convert this radical form into an expression with fractional exponents. Here's what I mean. x to the power of three to the power of one over six. This expression and this expression are mathematically the same. Next, I'll use the laws of exponents, which tells me that if I have a power to a power, I can multiply the two powers. Three times six is three over six. So x to the power of three over six, and we can reduce three over six into half, where we have x to the power of half, and this can be brought back to its radical form as the square root of x. No need to write the index of two, it's assumed that it's there. Let's move on to the next question, and this should say two. Simplify the radical by reducing its index. So once again, we have the fourth root of four x squared y squared. I'll switch this into an expression with exponents, where I have four x to the power of two, y to the power of two, all power to a quarter. I'll distribute this exponent now to each of these components. Let's start with four. Four to the power of a quarter. The way you can approach this is you can change this four into two to the power of two. Watch what happens. You have two to the power of two to the power of a quarter. I'll multiply two and a quarter together and that gives me half. So we have two to the power of half and this is the square root of two. Let's do the same thing with x, x to the power of two x to the power of two to the power of a quarter gives me x to the power of half and that becomes the square root of x. The same thing with y to the power of two, that becomes the square root of y. Since these were all combined to begin with, technically these need to all be combined as well. And by that I mean multiplied. If you are multiplying radicals and they all have the same index, two, two, and two, they're all square roots, you can combine the radicands by multiplying them. So we have the square root of two x y. This is the reduced version of this. And there you have it. Two examples on how to reduce the index of a radical.